Hello, Daz Studio patrons. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to the world of Daz Studio. Thank you for joining me. I want to give a shout out to all of my subscribers. Thank you very much for all of your patronage. Today, I want to talk about keyboard shortcuts and hotkeys. Now, I've got to be honest with you. I don't use these probably as much as I should, but some of them I really find useful and use them a lot. Others, I actually find it easier to just kind of navigate through the toolboxes of Daz Studio itself. But I want to show you how you can use some of these shortcuts to perhaps make your Daz experience just a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. Now, first of all, I want to show you that if you just hit F3, you will get a menu that shows all of the hotkeys when you select one of the options in DAS Studio. So for example, if I scroll down here to parameters and I open up the parameters, I can scroll down and I will see what the shortcut hotkeys are for various things. So you can look through this and kind of play with it. I'm gonna show you just a few things that I think are useful. Um, but if you look at this menu, you can find other things. We can also use this menu to change or add a hotkey, and I'll show you that at the end of the video. So I'm gonna X out of this, and I'm just gonna go through a few of the hotkeys that um, I find somewhat useful, and like I said, I'll show you a few that are kinda cool, but I don't personally use all that much. Now, the first one I want to show you deals with our cameras. And what I like to do is set up multiple cameras and then I will use Man Friday's render queue to uh, you know, render up each of these cameras in a scene. So I will use several cameras in my scene and then render them all. We also have this perspective view right here. And the perspective view is a camera that I usually set up kind of outside of my scene so that I can navigate and get things set up. So I can make sure that my character Milica is in the right spot. You know, I've got the background the way that I like. Now, instead of coming up here and clicking on these to change back and forth, if I have one of the cameras I like and I want to go to my perspective view, all I have to do is hit Control P. And when I hit Control P, it just takes me right to my perspective view. I can navigate around. I can do some things with the perspective view camera that I may not want to do with the cameras I have set up in the scene. So Control P gives me the perspective camera. One of the hotkeys that I use almost all the time is Control L. Now Control L is going to light up the scene. And I've shown this in some other videos, but um, this is just a really great hack. A lot of times when we set up our spotlights, especially in a dark scene, it'll be hard to see the props and characters in our scene. So we want to hit Control L and that will illuminate the scene, but it doesn't change the lighting. So we can just see what's going on in our scene better without actually changing any of the lighting. Another nice one is if we select our character, we can hit Control D, and Control D will put our character to the floor. Now, the way that I have this scene set up, my background is lower than the floor, so it just raised my character up and you can see if I navigate around that she is kind of crouched on the floor now instead of being below our little floor grid. So control D will move your character back to the floor. Once I have my scene set up, if I want to render, 
instead of going up here to render, I can just hit Control R. So Control R will render the camera that I have selected. Another really cool hack is Control F. Now what Control F will do is it will zoom in to whatever you have selected. So I went to my perspective view because I don't want to change the view of my original camera. So I'm going to go to my perspective view and I am going to select Milika's hand because her hand, if I look at her hand, I'm not sure that it's sitting properly on her thigh. So I'm going to select her hand, then hit Control F, and see it zooms in to her hand. Now I can pose her hand a little bit better. And since I used the parameters camera, I'm not going to change the cameras I want to use for rendering. So now I can kind of manipulate Milica and move this hand into the proper position that I like. So I find Control F to be very helpful. Now what's also cool about Control F is if I hit this again, go to Control F, I can also just click and orbit around that selected item using my little box up here. And it's just gonna follow that selected part of her. So see, now I can see that her hand is not quite on her thigh. So I can even add more detail by moving her fingers and getting this pose even more accurate. So I love how we can orbit around the selected item using the control F function. So that's even better. So now when I go back to the camera I'm going to render with, her hand is resting more on her thigh than it was before. Very cool option. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you is I often go back and forth between the texture shaded and the NVIDIA iRay preview. And you can do this on the menu here by just selecting, of course, the texture shaded and NVIDIA iRay. Um, you know, we can also do the lit wireframe if we need to, you know, things like that if we're doing D-Force or if we're uh, working with a D-Force uh, modifier. But for the texture and the NVIDIA iRay preview, we can easily do this by just hitting Control Zero, and that will put me into iRay preview mode. And then if I hit Control 9, it'll take me out of iRay and put me back into texture. Now, honestly, um, the different numbers will al also put us into each one of these. So if I hit Control 1, it goes to wire bounding box 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, and then zero is NVIDIA. So we can select each one of these by just hitting control one, two, three, up to nine. All right, so far we've just been hitting control and then a letter. Now there's a, a couple other pretty cool hotkeys where we're gonna hit control and shift. So if we hit control shift R, it's gonna take us right to this render settings menu. Now this is pretty cool, but I've often wondered, well, why don't I just hit the tabs? I mean, maybe if you don't have your tabs set up the way I do, um, you can go right to render settings by just hitting control shift R. If we select an item, like if I wanna select this bush, I can hit control shift a and it'll focus my camera directly on whatever is selected. Another interesting thing is if you've been working and you have your figure posed but you want to reset her, this is another hotkey where I can select my figure and I can just hit control shift F and it will reset her to her A pose. And there she is set back to her A pose. So I can also navigate around my scene 
if I hit control shift and then use the left mouse button see I can toggle around my scene this way and if I hit control shift and use the right mouse button it allows me to kind of pan in and out of course if I use just the mouse wheel I can pan and zoom in and out as well so these are just a few hotkeys that I find useful we can also go up to the scene navigator uh, tool that's up here in our menu it's the little circle with the arrows if I select that then I can also pan around so if I have my node selection tool I can't move anything around but if I'm in this scene navigator tool now if when I left click I can move around the scene I can adjust it's basically doing the same thing as what this box does if I go into the scene navigator tool select it and then go to window and go to my tool settings it's kind of cool because it brings up this menu where you can see the controls so I can move things with these controls as well I can zoom in I can zoom out I can move to the right I can move to the left I can move up and down so that's kind of cool I can also orbit or tilt adjust the plane so that's kind of cool as well so you can play with that now finally I did want to show you how you can create your own hotkeys and again you just go to F3 which pops up this menu and you can look through all of the things that you have and unfortunately you can't make hotkeys for certain things like for example I use render queue all the time so I was excited about this and I thought oh okay I'm gonna get into man Friday's render queue and I'm gonna create a hotkey so that I can just get right into the render queue to set up my series of renders but when I created this I created it as a control M for man Friday it didn't work so unfortunately it doesn't look like you can do this for everything but what you do is you right click then go change keyboard shortcut you select that and then you can press anything for example control M is what I chose and then you just hit apply and accept and theoretically you can just hit control M and you should get that popped up but there's something going on with man Friday where that doesn't work so let's create one that will work now I also use groups a lot so if I scroll down here and I find our grouping and grouping is going to be under create I can go to create a new group I can right click on that hit change keyboard shortcut let's make this control G now it's saying that control G is being used by another action so I can either override this by hitting yes or just cancel it out and find a different shortcut but I'm gonna hit yes so now control G is my new group so I'm gonna hit apply and accept and now if I hit control G I'm going to get that menu that allows me to create a group so this is pretty cool you can create your own hotkeys for the items that you use the most and so I I think that that is um, probably more beneficial than trying to memorize all of the default hotkeys um, a lot of them are useful but a lot of them we can you know easily just navigate around and uh, select what we're gonna do so that's about it for this week I hope this helped you um, like I said I'm not really great at the hotkeys but I thought showing you a few of them that are useful might save you time especially if you're a new user so hey I'm gonna render up Milica because she's just so darn cute let's get a render going and please don't forget to like subscribe and leave me a comment or two 
Alright, until next time, have a wonderful day. Thank you.